hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Salt Spray Cove. The beginning of our journey with Nakoa, our, our seaside adventurer in this expanded land of Stardew Valley. So happy to have you joining us. If you not, have not yet checked out episode zero of this series, I walked through a little bit. That is so darn fast. I might turn that down a little bit. I walked through all the mods that we have. Where is that? Harvest? No, that'd be Swing Tool. Yeah, let's turn that back down to like two for now. I might turn it back up again in a little bit, but we'll keep it there. There we go. That feels a little bit more balanced. I go through a little bit of, and I feel like my sound is now really quiet. No, it's, it's actually looking okay with my, um, I might actually turn this down a little bit back to there. Okay. Sorry, modded sounds are very, like my sound settings for modded Stardew are very different than um, my vanilla Stardew Valley because it's like, you know, I run this through Smappy. I wasn't running vanilla Stardew through Smappy at all. So the sounds like levels are very different. But yeah, we are, we're starting out our journey. And actually, you know what I'm going to do is I'm not going to do this here. I should do this way down here. There's like a little impromptu like path here. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to kind of focus on clearing up an area here, which will make sense in a little bit. This is a very big farm, but this is going to be a very big playthrough. So a reminder that we are playing at a 25% profit margin. So if I look at this item, for example, I mean, it sells for one. I think it always sells for one, but you'll see that like on here, is that saying that it sells for eight or gives eight experience? I can't remember. It's been so long since I've used UI Info Suite. <laughs> I don't remember what anything means anymore. Anyways, we have a lot of pals to visit and things to see. You can see on here, we have our good old expanded friends joining us. We're using um, seasonal outfits for these. Yes, we have Electo, which I mean, we're not gonna be able to visit Electo for quite some time. But yeah, let's, let's, let's build a chest. Let's build a chest. Oh, that feels so good being able to cut these down so fast. Okay, and I'm actually gonna cut down these stumps. There's a very, dis like, very clear reason why I'm doing this, which we'll get to in a little bit. Um, okay, cut you down, pop you, pop you. So this, <clears throat> If you have come from my vanilla playthrough, especially near the end of that playthrough, I've spent a lot of time talking about how I want to experience Stardew and how I want to really slow down and like spend some time on things. And I really miss having time to decorate. I really miss having time to decorate. So... Okay, there we go. And we have enough for a chest, which is awesome. So we're going to be spending this playthrough we're going to be working through it not systematically i would say but just like at a slower pace um because i want to be able to enjoy this playthrough i want to be able to enjoy the pace of play a bit more okay so we're gonna put these all away and then i'm going to actually i'll keep these for right now we are gonna hoe up over here i think we'll put our we'll put our parsnip seeds right here i can't figure out the sound so i'm sorry i'll definitely watch this video back um and probably the sound levels will be a bit different next episode i just need to kind of see just feels a bit different than my vanilla playthrough the sound levels okay so we can till anywhere on this farm i don't know if that's normal but i have a mod that lets me till anywhere on this farm um so that's what we're gonna do i'm just gonna put these right here again this is parsnip seeds plan this out a little bit after i just want to make sure we get these down there we go and let's water okay and let's store all of our stuff let's store all of our stuff i'm gonna store these i'm gonna store the watering can too and we're gonna go make a trip up oh my gosh how can i do this we're gonna go see if we can make a trip up north fighting our way through all this so i can walk over all of these shrubs like this because i have a mod called passable crops which i don't know if we can see on here passable crops which lets us walk over basically all of these things here 
lets us let's lets us walk over weeds it lets us walk over smaller trees sprinkler scarecrows like it just like it feels more like yes convenient 100 percent convenient to me right but it just makes more sense like why would like a little weed on the ground and a character's like nope can't do sorry not allowed nope <laughs> or a scarecrow right there's no reason that you know in real life you can't kind of like duck under the scarecrow where am i going i need to follow these like kind of suggested paths because i think that will lead us to does it lead us to where we're going i don't even know how to get out of here there it is i think it's over here okay good to know um yeah there's one there's a very specific reason i'm doing this which we'll get to in a little bit but we're gonna be spending pretty much a lot of this episode on the farm because this farm is just so big like you already saw how long that took me to just get up here to the backwoods that took forever. It's 12.10. Yay. And we have bush bloom mod. So that's coming from Wildflower. We found our first modded item, which is an Avaloon. The harvest speed is way too fast for me. This is probably because so some of these are going to be too fast, but that's just because it was me when I was doing my testing stuff. Does that music feel a little loud? That music might feel a bit loud. So that might just be me on my end though, but I'm going to turn the music down just a bit. There we go. My music, my, my um game music is usually a bit, ooh, hello, a bit quieter than, oh, there's another one down here, than everyone else, but it's kind of nice because then you can play your own stuff. Okay, so we've met Robin already. Hi, Robin. Have you met everyone in town yet? That sounds exhausting. What I want to show Robin is, so new with the 1.6 update is the ability to move your house. And I, where our house is, the, the normal spot for this house is in a really far away place especially for the beginning of this playthrough so i want to move the house closer actually where i cleared it out but this will be a very 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 good time to showcase a mod and the reason why i wanted to do this right from the get-go you'll see why is we have a mod called anything anywhere so it's like crops anywhere anytime but it's for anything and there's no any time so basically I'm, I'm not gonna be able to plant spring crops and fall kind of thing but why i'm bringing this up is if i select construct farm buildings normally this would just bring up the menu what it brings up is a whole bunch of pages of every single map in this game every single map sandy's house the wizard's tower you can build anywhere anything anywhere which can be kind of crazy. Like, why on earth would you want to build something in Harvey's Clinic? Um, this is just comes with one of the mods. I don't know what that is, right? I can't even showcase this because I don't have... Um, I can't even build, like... Where's the cabin? I can't even build the cabin. It's not even showing me a cabin as an option. That's so interesting. Anyways, but yeah. So, you can see the, how this menu... Like, if I was trying to look for something, I'd be scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling so thankfully conveniently our salt spray farm is one of the first ones and i can just move buildings and i can pick up our house this is this is unmodded content this does not need a mod to do this and i cleared out a nice spot like literally right here for it and this isn't going to be its permanent spot but i want it there for now i'm going to move the shipping bin a bit closer as well um just for now, so that we're a bit closer, because the farm exit is right here. This leads to Pelican Town. So now we're relatively closer, which is nice. But now that we have visited Robin, let's say hi to Maru. And oh, Maru is not how I thought she'd be. Oh, I know why. Greetings, I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. You might be able to hear my cat. Okay, let me just do something really quickly. Seasonal. Seasonal cute characters, and I want to turn off Maru. And I think I don't need to turn off. Yeah, okay. So there's a reason why I did that. I'm not going to talk to her yet. It's because I actually have... This is just... It was new on Nexus recently. There we go. It was new on Nexus recently, so I was like, I want to use it. We have a new Maru mod. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? And apparently this Maru was like one of the beta versions of Maru that um, a mod creator just kind of touched up. And I was like, okay, why not? Let's just use a different, you know, texture for Maru. It's there. Again, if there was another one, like say for Robin that was recent, I would do the same thing with Robin. It just happened to be one for Maru when I was putting together this mod pack. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. And it changes her sprite and everything, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, 
it's the link to, or the, the the name of the mod is going to be linked in my description so you can check down there if you want to kind of check out the mod and again if there's some other like facelift mods not facelift that's wrong because it's saying that they were before they weren't looking so great you know just like a different way of showcasing a character mod um then i'll probably i'll probably get it as they come out but like it's like i want to do new ones i don't want to look at ones that have been out for a while I want to acknowledge newer mods of people that have just created some stuff. If that makes sense. And this was one. So I thought that was fun. But yeah, if there's like, again, if there's a, I don't know, like a, a Sam one that comes out, I'll do it. That, that I feel is tasteful for what I was kind of thinking of seeing within Sam. Does this go anywhere? This, this boat looks like it could go somewhere. No. Okay. But yeah, you can see <laughs> just the kind of like the, the size of this farm, the scope and sequence of this farm, which is, it's kind of nuts, hey? It's kind of nuts. It's a little big. So we're going to have to do a lot of things on here. We're going to be quite antisocial. I'm not actually going to, definitely not going to be able to introduce myself to everyone this episode. Which is fine. It's fine. Do, 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 do. Let's continue to just kind of like fight our way through here. I don't have a grass growth mod on. Normally I do, but I thought that that would just be like too overwhelming with the, oops, the size of this farm. So I didn't, I didn't turn it on for this one. I'm gonna clean up here, even though we won't be able to cut these down for a while. There we go. Okay, and let's, let's ship. So yeah, you can see that we can see everything that we're shipping. So we have a value of 75 gold. <laughs> um, I'm going to bring, actually, oh, I'm going to bring this and this as well. <sighs> Feels so good. And yeah, I know I haven't, I was debating if I wanted to use a, like a crop and like forage retexture, but I was like, nah, not in this one. There's already like, I, you know, I didn't want this to be a huge. I'm running 162 mods right now. Which is pretty modest, I would say, in comparison to a lot of modded content out there. But I didn't want to get too overwhelmed with the mod pack that I was putting out. Oh, there's the warp. That's a really cool place for that. Okay, so we found our greenhouse. Tucked away up here. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to spend a lot of time cleaning up the beach. Because if I... Wow, there's like a big open spot here. That's interesting. Because if I clean up by the beach... Hello? Oh, that was cool. Don't know if that was like planted there or if that's just like a... Whatever. But yeah, if you can see on the beach, I don't want to pick those up. But there's a lot of like forgy things that are on the beach. Ooh, can I chop these down? Can I move them? No, they're part of the decoration. Okay, so I have let's move it, which lets me do that. Um, which I'm going to try not using too much because it can get a little too cheaty if you start to essentially abuse it, right? But um, we'll light the torch. That's a decoration. That's totally movable. I think I showed that in my episode zero is that we can move this. But I'll keep it where it was placed to begin with. But yeah, I'm going to spend some time on the beach, cleaning up the beach. A lot of garbage on this beach. This is a messy beach. So the really cool thing about this farm too is that we have the beach here. And you can catch ocean fish in this beach. Then we had that little kind of fun pathway. The, 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 the like pier area that I walked across up north to get to the backwoods. That has river fish. So you can catch both beach fish and river fish on this farm. But if I keep on slowly making my way up here absolutely crazy this farm is so much stuff up here we have a small wee little lake which in this lake you can catch lake fish so you can actually catch all three different areas of fish just right on your farm but i think one of the trade-offs is like the, the the chance to catch garbage is higher or something i remember reading that in the mod description and i did test it out and i was able to catch all three types of fish right on our farm which is so cool 
Like I caught us a, um, a largemouth bass up there. I caught a sardine from in here. It was so cool. So this would be a really cool, like if you're trying to play like a deserted island playthrough or something. I don't know. You could like live on this farm essentially. I will be picking up a lot of this stuff, but not right now. I just don't have the inventory space. Yeah, I'm going to be spending a lot of days just cleaning. I don't know. I like I like cleaning stuff too. It's so satisfying hacking away at all of this. And I'm not in a rush again. I'm not in a rush to like achieve perfection as soon as possible. Like thing number one, I chose 25% profit margin. It's going to take four times as long. Just that alone. What are you? Oh, you're another torch. Nice. I like these little like light sources that have been added in. There we go. And I just, I feel like cleaning up the beach is a good start. Okay. Can't get through there. That's fine. Can't get through there. Let's fight our way down here so we can get to Cinder Sap. Clean up this little secondary beach lagoon area here. Salt Spray Cove. Love it. I might just say Salt Spray a lot too. Okay, Lou, are you anything? No. Are you anything? No. Just decoration. Do you say anything? No. Okay. I'm not going to worry about this half right now. It's 10 o'clock and I feel like we've done like very barely anything. Hey, that's just like, again, the size of this farm is, what is this? Oh, right. Okay, we'll go check that out when it's not pitch black. <laughs> I need to find, ah, here, this is what I was looking for. It's like the greenhouse. And then, yeah, these lanterns light up for us too, which is really nice. Okay, so it is like pitch black outside, so I might just go to bed. I'm not going to be trying to min-max every day. Like, it's probably going to happen anyways, because I'll just be so busy and be having too much fun. But I'm not going to be trying to squeeze out every second of every day in this playthrough either. The video episodes are, I mean, you can probably see how long this one is. But they'll be around two, two to three hours, somewhere in there, two and a half hours usually. Um, so, yeah. I also realized I just didn't level up today. Didn't level up. I need to cut down one more tree. Can I, do I have enough energy to cut down one more tree? There we go, leveled up. Okay, that's really good for tomorrow. Okay, so, and I probably should have looted more forage rather than cutting down trees, but that's okay. Um, let's put this in the bin and let's go to bed because now I can get tree seeds. I kind of want to put this back here, light it up over here a little bit more. Then can I put this here? Yeah, then that'll light up over here a little bit more too. And then this couch is very far away from the TV. Actually, I kind of want to put this here. Can I switch these? I don't need to be decorating, but I kind of want to decorate. There we go. Okay. So if I go to, let's just go to bed. Level one. Yay. Level one foraging. So you can see I'm using a custom menu background. This one I think is called beach, beach day. Um, very nice. Just a little bit of different color to get away from the purple. I'm enjoying it. Typically I play one week per episode, one in game week. So we're going to play today eight of spring. Um, sorry, I was circling it, but my cursor, there we go. I was doing this. <laughs> That's the plan is we're going to play a whole week per episode. Can I interact with you yet? No. So this is supposed to be something, but it isn't wanting me to do anything with it yet, which is fine. Um, that's fine. Hello? Hello. Just got back from a fishing trip. Okay. So that is from Willie. So we can go check out Willie today and we probably will. We're just going to spend a bit more time cleaning up again. Some of our farm. I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna buy some things though. I'm just gonna buy some things with our fleeting money. Clean up this path a little bit. There we go. So 
<clears throat> oh, I have enough to build another chest last night. I have one of the mods that I'm running right now. It um, makes it so the trees don't spread their seeds. Like, basically at all. Like, it's, it's like a 1% chance. Like, it's so low. But if we shake them, it's like a 50, I think, percent chance that they will give us a seed. Which will be really nice, because now we can just shake the snot out of trees. One, so that we don't run out of seeds to when we when we want to replant things. But two, um, and I think it's 100% when I cut them down that they'll give us seed. But two, so that we can... Um, make some field snacks early game. <laughs> There's not a lot of pine trees here. I think I know why though, because I think they're all hiding up in the north of the farm. Some pine trees right here. There we go. Okay, so I should be able to make, yes, a field snack. That's awesome. Yeah, and I don't feel as like bad about, or guilty about making field snacks, because again, we, we'll, we'll be getting a lot of tree seeds. This is totally not important to be cleaning this up, but I don't know. I kind of want to because <laughs> this will be kind of where we're going to be planting crops for a little bit. It's like right here, I think. Now that I've cleaned up this area, do you do anything fun? No. Okay. The one downside of where I moved this is now I'm really far away from a water source for my watering can. So I might plant the crops a bit closer over here. Just so we're a bit closer to this water source. And I don't know if this is river fish or lake fish. Because I didn't fish here, I think. I fished more in the north side where the, the house was originally was. There's another little perk of this farm is that, I mean, I think rice is being counted as a forage, even though it's still a crop. But yeah, there's little treasures here and there and everywhere. There we go. Oops. I think that was a frog, not my anything that I was doing. Because I have waterproof items again, so we shouldn't be losing anything to the water anymore. Okay. This is looking pretty good. Let's just clean up some of these sticks and stones that don't break my bones. And we'll cut down some of these bigger trees eventually too. Man, I missed my Slither Legs book already. Walking through all this grass. Yep, there we go. Oh, I have a full inventory. I got a full inventory. Well, I can still hit these rocks. Why not? And it's 11.10 a.m. Okay, I'm going to do this for a few more minutes and then we'll go and get prepared to go and see Willy. And we're just going to grab the rod and dip. Again, most of these, the cutscenes, especially with the vanilla, I'm just going to be skipping. I'm not actually going to be watching them. I might give like a little bit of a recap um, on what they were, depending. I'm just going to shift the forge for right now, too. I might give a little bit of a recap, depending on what it was. If it makes sense, right? If there's like, oh, and then they're mentioning this. Is there another rock? I cut down some around here. There we go. Okay. Yeah, let's go and ditch this and then we will go to town. Let's go to town. It's Morris's birthday today, but I don't think we can do much about that. Ooh, we have something new here too. So this is our Grampleton Walnut. The nice thing about this too is I have look up anything so I can click on it. And you can see this is used for a lot of cooking recipes. Um, so is, is it classified as a fruit? It is. So that's why this Tutti Frutti tart is saying fruit times five. But then there are specific cooking recipes that need this specifically, which is pretty cool. Um, can be caked and preserved, which is fun. Um, it might just be like the generic color though. It looks like, cause I know that 1.6 changed these, right? To be more the same color, but that might just be for vanilla crops. I'm not too sure. Anyways, let's go to town. We have this little exit here cause we are playing on expanded again. So that leads to grandpa's shed. I'm blinking, why am I blinking? To the beach. To the beach, beach, everyone. We have Ellie's town buildings. 
so that's why this looks a bit different. Okay, let's see if we can get Maru with seaweed. Say hi to Alex. Hi, Alex. Hey, sir, the guy, cool, huh? Yeah. Oh, shoot, I forgot to mention as well that we have, um... Let's talk to Gus, because there's... Oh, he's not even working. Okay, bye. Um... I forgot to mention that I have portraits. Like, the, the portrait, or like the frame mod on again, which I love so much. Oops, this isn't vanilla. I can't just hold down and look away. Okay, so I'm gonna skip that because we got the rod, and then I'm just gonna leave. I'm not gonna fish here. I'm gonna I'm gonna fish back by our farm. <laughs> Ooh, artifact. Just clay. That's okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna spend too much time like reading things. <laughs> This playthrough because we just I want to focus more on like the creating. Oh, there's Gus. Gus, why aren't you working? So look at there's like little just detailing on the frames here, which is so nice. Why well, hello there, I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Star Drop Saloon. My cat also just jumped on the desk, so you might hear him. Hi, Vincent. Hi. Mama says not to talk to strangers. Hi. And we have Penny. Oh, hello, I'm Penny. Nice. My cat's rubbing on my chin, which is right by the microphone. Okay, that's a tail on my face. Oh. Okay, you might have heard that because he just rubbed his tail on the microphone too. So much little forage. Let's go loop around. Oh, there's Abby. Hi, Abby. Well, that's right. I heard someone was moving into that old farm. I don't know what my cat's doing. It's okay. It's that time of day where he just gets cuddly. It's that time of day. Mm -hmm. So many daffodils. Oh, okay, so one thing that I want to explain too, which I don't actually, ah, uh, let's go to Pierre's. Because I can buy some seeds, why not? My cat keeps on rubbing his face on my microphone now, so it pushes it away. So if I kind of just start to sound a bit distant, that would be why. Um, I should even meet Pierre's. Oh, it's Jazzercise Day. Hi, Louis. Hi, Pierre. I'm going to sneeze. I can feel it. One second. Okay, I'm back. So because we're playing on 25% profit margin, all the seeds are 75% cheaper. That's why parsnip seeds are $5 because it affects the store as well. Um, we have our vanilla seeds and then we scroll down here and I believe these are, oops, that was the wrong button. I believe these are cornucopia seeds. It doesn't say. Yeah, I think if it doesn't say, then it's cornucopia because all of the... All of the wildflower mods say if they're from wildflower, but I think that's something mod authors need to like add in. <gasps> okay, we're growing a jazz apparently. That was a misclick. So this harvest for seven, this harvest for eight, and they're the same price. So obviously the spinach harvests for eight as well. Oh my gosh. Wait, this is like a actually like a relive reliving the um and how much I want to grow. I think I only want to grow like twenty-five. Okay, we're gonna grow a a jazz as well apparently let's say hi to all these gals over here hi jody hi olivia what do you have to say oh my aren't you a cutie welcome to the valley dear it's so exciting when someone new moves in hi caroline uh, robin we know hi emily i can read it in your face and we have marnie jumping away nice so this is something else too because that that um building menu is absolutely insane there is, and this is going to be a little cheaty, and I know it is, but it's it's the trade-off of, like, having to navigate that menu so much. Is, again, you can build... Ooh, Evelyn. Hi, Evelyn. Why, hello, dear. You can call me Granny if you'd like. Is we have a button. So I set a hotkey, and I set page down. So we can build anywhere. We can build anywhere. Just from this. So, yes, we're going to be able to build on Tuesdays when Robin isn't in her shop. Or we can build later at night, the trade-off. But then it's nice not having to click through, you know, Evelyn, George's, Alex's house, Leah's house, blah, blah, blah. Just if we're trying to find somewhere. And for the most part, we are going to be building on our farm, right? Like, I'm not going to... This farm is huge. So a lot of it is going to be just here to begin with. Uh, I'm not going to be ranching out too much. Let's shift you. I'm going to hang on to the daffodils, though. And let's hoe... A little five by five over here. And some of these will be eaten, which is okay. Mm 
Oh, that's going to bug me. Okay, we're going to go up one. <laughs> My energy. Yeah, we're going to go over here. I don't want to I don't want to spend all my time watering this season if that makes sense. So that's why I'm not I didn't buy like 200 of these cuz that's so not fun. Um and then let's I mean this jazz might get eaten honestly by a crow, but we'll just put it right there. And then let's grab our watering can. Can I I don't think I don't think this is like an actual water Oh, it is! Okay, never mind. We figured out our water solution. That's so cute that that's a water thing. I also need to water my parsnips. I was not expecting that to be a well. I thought it was just a decoration, but it's functional. That's nice. That was a good place to move our farmhouse. There we go. Then let's go and water our parsnips. Hiding up here. Okay, that's okay. That's okay, because we have a solution to this. Let's kind of fight our way back to where our, our farmhouse used to be. Which is over here, because if you remember from my episode zero, if you watched that, if you didn't, that's totally fine. Um, we have a modded farm cave, and I, I did want this one specifically for this reason, because it might feel a bit cheaty, but I think it's okay. Um, because it will only really only benefit us like this first season. I don't have a field snack on me too, but I want to save that. In here, in this train cave, is actually our farm cave. And then if we, so we can go through here and like go in the water, but I've, I've used this farm cave before. And we can actually just run around and then we can be in here in our clothes. And it gives us energy. So with it being Stardew Valley expanded and then being on such a big farm, I think this is kind of necessary. Like we can't play vanilla or else we're going to fall off really quick. I'm grabbing a drink of water. My cat immediately was like, ooh, what's this? Can I try some? You don't like water from my water bottle, silly goose. Okay, so that's probably really good for 8.30 at night. Let's go and finish watering our... Nice. Let's go finish watering all of our parsnips. Hello, Anvil. That's really cool. That'd be so cool if it became like the Anvil from that we're going to build eventually. Ugh, it's stuck on trees. Six more parsnips to water. I think we can do that. There we go. I'm ready for tomorrow. Put that away and actually I'm going to put you away and let's grab our axe and we're going to chop down some more trees. With all the remaining energy. And I think once we run out of energy we'll just go to bed. try and clean a path to that farm cave which is so far away oh no I don't have magnet rings okay there we go <laughs> that's that's more or less clean I can't really see beyond that just get this tree down okay and then I'm gonna kind of want to Clean up over here towards the beach. Oops. It's so dark. It's so dark. Okay, I see little twigs here that we can get. That was a rock. I think I'll do right here. Oh, no, I'll do right here as well. And this one. Okay, a little bit of energy left. Not too much to do. The farmhouse is so dark. Ok, 
Okay, only eight swings on that. That's fine. Drop that all off. Switch you over your watering can. And let's go to bed. Sleep for the night? Yes, please. Nice. 82 gold. Little baby money. <laughs> ah, feels good being able to, or playing on a profit margin farm again. Are you, normally I play with some sort of profit margin just because 100% profit, profit margin is just like, it's a bit too quick for me. Um, as we saw from my last playthrough, I got perfection in three years and that was me like kind of trying to stretch it out a little bit. I wasn't just like totally going keg land. Can I get into here yet? No, it's probably going to be when I reset the game. I'm, I'm supposed to be able to get in there. That's why I keep bringing it up. Keep finding cool stuff. Okay, so that's because we had a full backpack. That now we're being told we have a full backpack. Um, so normally people fish on day three. I don't think I'm going to fish on day three. I think I'm going to... I'm going to go to the beach. And we're going to clean up the beach a little bit more. We'll fish eventually. We'll fish eventually. But I'm, I'm not too... I'm not feeling too pressured to fish. Let's just say that. So these random like rogue rocks here are going to bother me. So I need to get them. Hey, cat's loving everything right now. Rubbing his cheeks on everything. There's a tail on my hand. How on earth is that torch lit in the rain, hey? There we go. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to clean up the beach. Just because this beach also has crates. Geode. Nice. Yeah, this crate also, or this beach also has crates that can spawn on it, which is really nice. So you don't get anything too, like, fancy or special from them, but... I don't know. They're a nice little treat that you can get. Okay, got a clam up here. And a mussel, we'll grab them, why not? Oh, coconut already. There's two different types of trees on here, I just noticed that too. There's like the stubby trees and like the long trees. our farm cave. Okay, I came in like around a loop. Kind of gathered my bearings of more. Okay, and I think this is like kind of like a quarry. So once we clean this up, it'll act more like a quarry. Um, as we can tell by the copper right there, which I might actually get so that we get Clint visiting us. Never mind, my inventory is full. Yeah, those are quarry rocks that I just hit up. This is a debris rock. Look at that clay. There's a clay node. Okay. Let's go and clean up our inventory a little bit more again. feel so slow and I was using something that gave me more speed but then it like the playthrough died on me because it got like it's just you know when things are too easy you just don't feel ambitious I'm just gonna ship all of these not the geode though okay so now we can go back to that quarry apparently I'm just choosing areas to clean out I don't know why not um, let's get these rocks along the way though these random scattered rocks So debris will just create more debris. It's like weeds. The grass would be nice, but also it's kind of whatever at the same time, especially with like it being mixed in with all the fiber and everything. We'll spend the time cleaning it up. Okay, so let's clean up this quarry area a little bit more just so that 
potential quarry stuff can actually spawn in it. Might make seeds. And I know this isn't the quarry, but it's it's part of the same plateau here, so it's gonna bother me. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying out a bunch of new mods because normally I just use like Ellie's whatever seasonal buildings for the farm, but this this mod from Ida Ida like just dropped. Ooh, my game just stuttered. Just dropped recently, and I was like, oh, these buildings look so nice, and they're so different. Um, the muted ones just have like a more of a dark purple floor. I think the non-muted ones, like the regular version, have like a pink roof. Not floor, sorry, roof. Uh, purple roof. And I was like, oh, well, okay, I like the muted version better. Like, I don't have anything against pink. It's just not my, not my first color of choice that I would pursue. This is like an outdoor oven. This is so neat. I wonder if we're going to be able to interact with it. Okay. Might have to dig our way in a little bit. But yeah, I think it might be worth... Oh, there we go. Level 1 mining. Holy. Might be worth cleaning this up a little bit. I don't know. We'll see. So I think that's what this darker color soil means. Is that this is like more quarry. There we go. And I looted the copper. Copper. So we're going to get a visit from Clint tomorrow. Yeah, we'll clean up as much as we can over here. Whoop. Nice. Put my farmhouse over here. <laughs> That's the thing I'm gonna try and avoid. Like I don't want to just like hit this and then be like, "Hey, I'm gonna move my farmhouse here because I'm lazy." And, oops, that scared the crap out of me. No, I'm not gonna really do that because um, that's not like a reflection of reality. I want to be able to like struggle. I want to be able to struggle a little bit too. There's there's always a beauty in the struggle. Okay, but let's not struggle with our health when we literally have a little hot spring cave to rejuve ourselves with. Heal up. Do the thing. Three thirty PM, so I'll heal up all the way. Nice. And out we go. Out we go. Let's chop this tree down. Like fully down too. There we go. Whoops, I have a very full inventory. I have such a baby inventory. That's going to be one of our first purchases. Bigger inventory. I can't see. Yeah, okay. Quarry area feels clean, which is nice. Let's go and drop off all these goodies. We already have 80 stone. We'll clean as we can with the base tools, right? Drop down some logs while we're on our way. Where our house used to be, I think. We're not clean up as we go. Yeah, I very rarely play on like such a big farm because usually they're like too, too daunting for me. But I have a, I have a vision in my head. I have a vision in my head, and it needed a bigger farm for that vision. And this farm was like, it was very immersive. Like there's a lot going on, which I liked. Uh, 
don't know also why I got so distracted and deciding to come over here to clean up, but I did, so here we are. Um, so while I'm doing this, I do want to also talk a little bit about, I mean, folks who just like, this is not their jam, probably have already checked out and have moved on to like their, their third video of the day, whatever. But, uh, me uploading these videos, oh, there's a water trough right here too. Me uploading these videos and send, like posting them online, I'm not doing it necessarily for views. So I'm not trying to be super overly extra and crazy with my energy and like click baity and all of that no i'm like i'm playing this because i want to play stardew at the end of the day that's why i'm doing this and i like recording it because it keeps i feel like it helps keep myself accountable uh if that makes sense did someone already eat my oh no there's a little nub there never mind it helps keep I, it helps me keep myself accountable because when i don't record it you know like today like a good example like in this day three of spring i probably would have been like ah, oh, i can just like i don't know like go into my cheat menu and turn on infinite um stamina and then i can whoa that's a really big waterfall and then it's fine like it's just like it's just it'll make it a bit easier like i was gonna go to the springs anyway so let me just heal up now you know that's kind of my mentality a lot of the times which is not a it's not a bad one i would say but it's also not a good one like i want to be a little bit more have a bit more integrity with myself um so that's why i like to record myself because then i feel more obligated to do things how they were intended to be done um but again some people like to play with you know max stamina stamina all the time and that's totally fine that might be the you know in terms of how much time you're able to dedicate to stardew valley that might make sense to have that option on for you um i like to struggle <laughs> but i don't i do have a hard time uh keeping myself like keeping myself struggling if that makes sense i like to i get tired of struggling and i try to turn it off or when i do this you know it's um it keeps me more accountable because now I'm like, okay, I need to pace myself. Ooh, that tree was right. I started that one yesterday. It's actually kind of a cute place for the house. Okay, 940. We have some energy left. Let's cut down some trees. These trees won't spread though, which is so nice, but still. We'll clean them up. We clean them. I'm so excited. This is such a big farm. We're gonna have so much fun decorating this. If you want to see some decorating, I have two like very extensive playthroughs. One of them is pretty, it's not complete. I mean, it's, I've achieved perfection on it. It's, it's not complete. I'm still gonna be playing it, um, but it's, it's pretty far along. And the other one is, it's also far along too. Um, haven't achieved perfection on it, but it's, it's in year three as well. It's on quite an extended hiatus just cause it's the, one of the main mods for it is, is being worked on being updated and it's going to be it's not going to be updated for quite some time so but we will be going back to return to that and that's actually that the mod i'm talking about or the, that series i'm talking about is actually what my youtube channel is named after hemlock it's my hemlock farm series that's where it all started so if you watch the very first episode of that series you're gonna see me being awkward with youtube and not knowing how to talk to myself <laughs> um talking to a microphone while looking at my screen where now I have hundreds upon hundreds of hours talking to myself. <laughs> but it's funny because now how I view it is like, I'm not talking to myself. Like there's actually some really great pals out there. And I know I'll, I know there's going to be a good like eight of you that are going to be checking out this series too. So hello to my friends out there. You know who you are. Um, can't wait to see your comments. <laughs> um, that's fun. But yeah. Oh yeah, we need to. Oh right, we saw Clint yesterday like i like my little deep like look like the overgrown on the house is so pretty uh hi there good morning i noticed okay i'm gonna skip this because again it's a vanilla cutscene. he gives us the recipe for a furnace this is robin telling she can build a well for us okay 
give these a good sprinkle. Um, I don't remember what I was thinking about, which is also not anything new out of the ordinary, right? Me forgetting what I'm talking about. Spinach is in two days. Nice. This is very pulled from Artisan Valley, which is fine because that mod doesn't exist anymore. But yeah, we're going to... Oh, it was me talking about decorating. We're going to have a lot of fun decorating. And um, I've put some measures in place that will kind of... Uh, Let's say encourage me to decorate. <laughs> and I'm not talking about just having a bunch of alternative texture mods. I mean, that's kind of part of it. I actually don't have too many right now. I wanted to add them in as we go. I'd rather add them in as we see... Not fit, but you know, as we kind of realize we need them. Sorry, I saw that one log and I was like, you cannot stay. Also, I'm going to chop this down because that's going to really bother me how it's directly in front of the path. Same with this one. I honestly am probably going to leave that pine tree right there because it looks really nice. Let's go check what's happening on the beach. We might actually... Oh, shoot. Actually, you know what I might do? Is... And I can just do this here. I'm going to make a chest for the beach so I don't have to like run back and forth with everything all the time. I can just like have a chest. Oh, I have my cottage core fences back. That's what you're seeing there is cottage core fences. Love them. Love them to bits. Miss them so much in my vanilla playthrough. Okay, so we're going to just, I'm going to put it right by this torch too so I won't lose track of it. But I want that so I can pick up some of this. And does this count? No, that gives us no experience. Ooh, seaweed. What? Why is there a little baby tree growing in here? Oh, that's cool. UI Info Suite saying stage one of five. Palm jungle tree. Palm tree. Oh, so it's a jungle palm tree. Okay, don't have room for that. It's okay. Let's clean up this beach. It's messy. I don't know why a messy beach is bothering me. Do -do 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 -do. And let's make you like a light blue then. Yeah, so as you can see, again, I'm not using a whole lot of recoloring mods quite yet. Um, or like texture mods. Because after playing vanilla, there's a certain charm to vanilla stuff. So we're going to, again, slowly add them in. We'll see. But I don't want to go just like so deep into the visual texture mods that we don't even know how to get out. Because that, that itself can be too overwhelming and then you don't know where to start. Like... There's a point on one of my playthroughs where I had like 800 different wallpaper choices to choose from. And I was like, this just takes forever to scroll through, honestly. Did this respawn? It did. Oh, right. And I left some garbage up here. Whoops. <laughs> so yeah, there's like one stone. Yeah, we'll just like procedurally, incrementally clean up our farm. I like doing this. This is just like, again, this is very therapeutic for me. I hope it's a bit therapeutic for y'all to watch. I hope you're enjoying just watching it. Okay, so it's the fourth today. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go south. I'm going to go empty out my inventory a little bit. So I need to go empty out some of these things into my beach chest, which is so nicely placed. Oh, I see a piece of garbage. Yeah, and I chose not to have any animation mods in because normally I have animated gemstones and animated fish and everything, invisible fish and dynamic reflections. But I feel like my computer, like I'm running on such an old kit. Honestly, I'm running on such an old computer that... I have to be a little bit more selective <laughs> with my mods because like even just having expanded plus this big farm map like I can feel how my computer is kind of just like trucking trying to load load everything okay so we're gonna drop that off and I think yeah we're okay actually I'm gonna drop off my this and this but then we're gonna bring our hoe yeah and we're gonna go on a little forage run and by a little forage run I mean like a really big forage run 
That will probably take the rest of the day. Um, and the scary thing is I think it'll be a little too big of a forge run that we're going to be a bit overwhelmed with what we're, what we're going to be able to choose. Look at that already. A meadow violet. A creeping violet that spreads quickly to cover uh, entire meadows in a deep purple hues. This is from Wildflower Crops and Forage Pack. So from what I'm seeing, it's only used to ship. It's only used to ship and like make a die or whatever. So to me, that's the green light just to send the sucker in. Um, how much is it for? 22 each. Compared to this, is with 12? Like, that's pretty... Wow, hello, horseradishes. I love this. The grass, it just comes with Vibrant Pastoral. I don't think I've ever just used the grass that comes with Vibrant Pastoral. I've always used my Wildflower Grass mod, but I decided to be bold and shake it. I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're going to go into Cinder Sap. Why Cinder Sap? And we're going to pick up some of the forage here. Oh, and not that... I want to pick because yeah, there's always leaks that spawn down here, which is really nice. And okay, cool. So we can make some of the spring forage, which is what I was hoping for. Okay, fine. I'll get the mushroom. I was debating it, but we'll get it. And we're just going to be doing like a quick scan here. Because this place, it's really easy to get like lost and overwhelmed in this place to my knowledge only vanilla slash stardew valley expanded forage will spawn in here none of the wildflower forage and i think it's just wildflower forage none of that will spawn in here at least not yet i mean maybe down the road there'll be compatibility built in but i don't think i don't think modding is there yet again this is i'm saying this late april 2024 who knows there might be some framework built later on that will allow it but yeah we're just gonna find a lot of vanilla forage mm, which is okay like a lot of vanilla forage holy might have to oh a gold star horseradish okay i don't want to find any more quality ones though because i came this way for a specific reason and that was for this forest sword so we have a weapon for the mines. No, 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 no. We found an artifact. Yay. We can grab all of them now. There's four total that we can get. Which make, make me a little nervous because we're going to see what forge we encounter that we can't pick up. Because that means that we it's a quality that we don't have. That's why I didn't want to do too big of a loop because we just don't have the inventory space right now. Horse fetish. Don't be silver quality. Don't be silver quality. Yay. There's um, Ancient Sword number four that we can get. Which, these are a decent amount. 25 each. Yeah, because they're normally 100 each. So, I don't think I'm going to be selling them right out the get-go. Twenty-five gold is nice, but eh. Mm, I can get this pine cone because I already have one on me. Okay, and I'm not going to be looping around Cinder Sap because we have no inventory space if we find a new forage thing. So we're just going to be retracing our steps. Leah, we can say hi to Leah. I'm probably just going to wait until the egg festival to say hi to everyone. Hi, Leah. Because everyone will be attending there. So I'm not, that's why I'm not too worried about running around saying hi to everyone. And, I mean, the friendship is probably just going to decay on me anyways. <laughs> Why am I blinking? Archaeology, right, because we found an artifact. Okay. I cannot clean up the farm because I have no inventory space. You follow my implied path. This looks like it's a... Oops. Like a... Follow me up here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to ship these. Meadow Violet, yeah. Goodbye. I'm going to ship this mushroom. And then we're going to put everything else in here. And then let's go forage up north. 
Mm, I have to like follow these paths. Oh, I see a, a daffodil. Oh, and a horseradish. Oh my gosh, there's so much forage on the farm. Which is really nice early game, but gets kind of annoying late game. As I remember from my my hemlock playthrough where I used sunflower acres as my farm. Which is really, it was a lot of fun decorating that farm, honestly. I'm hoping to return to it sooner than later. Ooh, hello rice shoots. Five of them? Happy that fence is there. That's a good like visual marker. Okay, so oh yay, a new one. A star and a knees. And we got our first wild strawberry. So these oops, that's a reminders. I think are also just ship. Yeah, that's they're just for shipping. Wow, like not a lot of people like them either. And then we have you, which is whoa, look at that. It's used in like so many recipes. It's used in so many recipes. I had to expand it. Is this going to be the onion? Yes. Wild red onion. Let's see. What are you used for? Ooh, a lot of like pickled stuff. That's so fun. And like a lot of them. Okay. Oh, and you look new. What are you? You are new too. And you. Oh, I can't even pick you up. What are you? Um, peppercorn. Nice. And then we have a forage here that I can't grab. I'm going to ditch this fiber. So then we have a fairy helmets. Because they're tiny size and hat like shape, these are also known as fairy bonnets. And they make a strange ink cap seed. Do I have that? Like to oh I do. Enchanted seed that might oh, so it becomes a mushroom sh tree. These are mushroom trees, okay. Interesting. Well, our inventory's full, so let's go back. <laughs> and we're gonna ship one of everything, because again, just shipping and you know collection and then that once I see that then I know that I can like hang on to things or ship them accordingly <sighs> all right loop around yeah like up here I think this might be river fish because this looks like a big river Okay, so I want to ship you, ship you, ship one of you, ship you, and ship you, and ship you. There we go, $182. Not bad, 373 wood. Let's chop down some more trees. Yeah, let's chop down some more trees. So this episode's probably not going to be coming out until May. Um, I've recorded a lot more of my vanilla playthrough, which y'all will be seeing. I mean, by the time this episode comes out. Um, but yeah, because I wanted to make sure that I, I was able to almost get everything taken care of on there that I wanted to. And I think we achieved that. I think we would have achieved it by now. If you're watching this video. That means that I feel like that episode or that series is in... A good spot to be able to putz around on it. <laughs> okay, I need to sit up because it's really dark and I can't see. Let's just continue deforesting this area. You're starting to feel exhausted. Okay, let's go to bed then. Yeah, let's just go to bed. That was weird. Why was it sap and then the wild horse? Because it's W, wild horseradish. Is that why? Probably something to do with that. Money, 182. I'm rich. My tummy's growling and gurgling. I see this is already taking a little bit to load, and it's just like day three of this playthrough so the more we add to this the longer it'll take to load like it might be to the point where i just have to pause it in between days so that it loads in time hello my name is susan Luz told me that you're a new farmer in town i'm trapped in my farm in the mountains i can't say hi in person hopefully the mess joseph made will be cleaned out soon because i'm going to stir i'm going a little stir crazy i can't wait to meet you and see how the farm is sh shaping up from susan 
Then we have from Joja. To our valued Joja Mart customers, our team members have removed the landslide caused by our drilling operations near the mountain lake. I'd like to remind you that our drilling operation is entirely legal. Blah, 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 blah. Responsible stewardship of the local environment. Okay, so that's a vanilla letter. So what we're going to do is we're going to prepare to go to the mines today. So to prepare for that, we need to make two chests. And I'm going to grab one of you, 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 because we need these all for shipping. And that's going to bug me seeing that shipping thing on it. Okay. Did I not put the wood in here? Whoops. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's go. Let's actually make... Ten field snacks. And then I can take this one in here that I can grab. Yeah. There we go. And let's go and so oh i forgot that i had the water yay we got our parsnips and we leveled up um i'm gonna hang on to them i'm gonna hang on to them i forgot that i had the water as well so that might change our plans a little bit did i just forget to water yesterday or did i water yesterday too i don't even know i think i watered yesterday go and I see this daffodil just being like pick me <laughs> take me too do, 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 do. put you away put you in there okay and what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna go up to it's like really far away but that's okay We're gonna go all the way over here to this cave. There's a dig spot, no. And I didn't want to, we're just gonna bathe in our fully clothed. <laughs> looking good. Oh, I missed the entrance because I was looking at my other monitor, the usual. Hello? Do you... I wonder if we can get water from that. I don't know. Anyways. It's traveling cart day, but I don't think I'm going to check out the traveling cart. So we don't really have a lot of money. And I don't want to spend a lot of money because we don't make a lot. Where did I put those chests? There we go. I'm getting yelled at. Um, I might save that in there. I might save that there. Because the less money I have on me, the better. Ooh, I see you though. We're going to take you with us. So I think I can eat you. Yeah, worse comes to worse. Nice, cutscene. Skip. That's to unlock the community center. If you want to see some cutscenes, I, I, I talk through every cutscene in vanilla in my vanilla playthrough. So we're only going to be watching like the expanded cutscenes. But I do need to come talk to this thing because you need to talk to it to get the next part of the community center. So there we go. So many people don't like that community center sound. I love it. The wind with the chimes. Like it's so not like spooky. I don't think spooky is the right word, but like hello. A petite lime. We're gonna have like way too much forage in our goodness me. Hi Linus. Stranger, hello. Nice, and because we're playing Expanded, the mine's entrance is a lot further. 
like a lot further. There's a lot of bushes here. This is fun shaking bushes this early on. Sad it only gives us one experience, but it's probably probably balanced accordingly. Peppercorn. Oh cool, that spawned in a you spawned in an expanded area. Hey, welcome to the mines. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna put down two chests. I'm gonna put them down here and here. So I was because this will be like the like whatever, not like garbage, but like the take home kind of chest. I was debating whether or not I wanted to use automate. And I decided against it. Because on my tester file that I played, I played like ooh, it's deja vu, that's weird. I played almost one year and I was using automate. I think I said this in a recent episode on my excuse me on my vanilla playthrough i played almost one year and i was using automate and i got so bored like i was so bored of that playthrough i'm not gonna worry about killing the slimes right now because we don't have the quest to kill them yet because like you wake up and you're like okay let me go and um and i guess open this chest and take the things out and sell them like there was no point like, there, you know, I like it when it's like you're doing busy work. When you're like, have to take care of this machine, then go do this, and then you have to go check on this. Like, it's like, and I know it's like really tedious for some people, but for my own brain. Okay, maybe I have to kill the slimes so I can actually descend. <laughs> An earth crystal. There we go, and let's leave to put away some of this stuff. So I'm going to put in all the mindsy things in here put the slime in there but then I'll put all the other resourcey things in here like that and we're gonna be spending a lot of time in the mines heads up like again we're playing this very differently I'm gonna want to try and get some sprinklers going because I don't like watering crops manually at all at all which is gonna be a little bit of a challenge because we still need to get level six farming <laughs> so I might be I might be planting some kale might be planting some kale. Yeah, I was debating getting like activate sprinklers, but then I would do, I would start to do the cheese where it's like you put down the sprinkler. Oh, how long ago did I get that? And just ran away from it. Whoops. Put it down, activate it, pick it up, put it down, activate it, pick it up. Right. I was like, eh, I don't want to really do that. Also, this playthrough, I think, and I don't know how it'll look yet, but I think I'm only going to limit myself to an Iridium Sprinkler's worth of Ancient Fruit. I don't want to have an Ancient Fruit Empire. I want to use other crops and have a variety and a diversity of crops. So yeah, I'm going to limit myself to a Sprinkler's worth. And maybe that means with a pressure nozzle? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Spider way around. See if there's any more. And then enemies. No, I don't have to hit the big rock. Ah, my energy. Oh, I think I also have like more guaranteed tree growth. So it's like... They pretty much grow one growth stage per day, which is like very cheaty, but like trees are the bane of my existence. Like I really don't like trees. Also, these give a lot of experience. 16. Yeah, like waiting for a tree to grow sucks the soul out of me. Sucks the life out of me. I am no longer... Yeah, hello? Why is this taking so long to find... A ladder again. No duggies. Goodness. At least I didn't think there was duggies. And gosh, I've eaten like three field snacks on this one floor. There we go, there's my torch texture. Oh, and did I just kill that torch? Whoops, I did. I just like destroyed that torch by accident. Hmm. 
do 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 do. Oh, I didn't realize we went down the floor. I was just trying to eat a field snack. Okay, so before I grab this, I'm gonna leave because it'll stay there, and I'm gonna clean up my inventory a little bit. I think I'm gonna put the monster stuff in here. Oops. Put the monster stuff in here. Okay. Let's go get those boots now that we have a bit more room. Yay, level 1 defense and level 1 immunity. That will help a little bit from getting slimed. A doggy! Yay, we got a cherry bomb from that doggy. I was hoping we would. Bum, bum, ba -da -dum, bum, bum. Let's see if we can get to floor 15. Do, 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 do. Ooh, and it's gonna rain tomorrow. Okay, so tomorrow we might. Hello? Tomorrow we might. Um, no, we will be planting a few more things. Because I think our, whatchamacallit, will be up to. Uh, um, our spinach. I don't have room for this coal, so I'm not going to take it. Will I remember to go back and get it? Eee, debatable. Duggies? Fourteen. Oh, and there we go. There's 15. Yay. We're into bug land. Okay, I'm going to clean up my inventory and then let's like, pretty much just go home. I don't know. Because, yeah, I don't... Okay, <sighs> mm, I'll try, but floor 19 sucks to try and get past. I'm going to dip around like 10, 10.30ish because we have like... We got to hike in a bit to go to get home. Man, four sword makes such easy work of this. Oh, I don't know if I want to use. Ah, we can use one. It's fine. Yeah, that's why this character kind of looks a little bit like Topher. Those of you who know. Do 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 do. Oh, a rock crab. <laughs> More rice shoots. Shouldn't hit rocks until I kill the monsters. Nice. Whoa, grubs. Yeah, that's a lot of monsters I'm killing. Sure as darn hope I'm leveling up from that. Okay, ah. there we go. Now we should get the... Hmm, sure, it's 9.30. Don't know if I want to eat that, but... So I'm only on floor 16. At least we're getting stone out of the deal. Two level ups today. I can't even pick that up. I think a quartz is more important than... Okay, and I think I'm going to go home. It's 10 p.m. If I can actually... There we go. <laughs> How much... We can make them... We can make two. Yay. Okay. Our first two for an eye. I don't know. I'm losing it, friends. Oh, there's something about the novelty of the beginning of a playthrough that is just like so satisfying. Like making two furnaces is like, yes, 
Where like as soon as you get to mid game, you're kind of like, okay, I need a few more. Click, click, okay, next. <laughs> I see you. Oh shoot, I didn't bring back all that forge that I brought with me. I have time. I can go back and get it. I'm gonna be cutting it very close, so I might. I don't even know if going through the backwoods is close. Actually, I'm probably gonna pass out now. Probably gonna pass out because like we have a far way to go once we get back on our farm as well. I don't know if this is worth it. Did I not ship a piece of wood or did I do that today? I think I did that today. Ship, ship, ship. Yeah, we're gonna be getting more cave carrots. <laughs> Scary. Part of me thinks I need to go down into town and through. I think this will be quicker. Rather than hiking through the north part of our farm. Because normally this would take a lot longer, but... Oh my gosh, it's almost 1 a.m. Ah! <laughs> oh, it's Morris. I was like, what is that creature? That was scary. We made it back. It's 1.10 a.m. So scary. Okay, so I want to ship you, you, you. You, I think. Everything else we have shipped. Yes. It's raining tomorrow, so I don't need my watering can. But I will grab you and you. Yeah. And I'm actually going to put away these field snacks as well. And let's go to Ben. Level 1 farming. And we learned how to make a scarecrow. Level 1 combat. Level 2 mining. Three levels today. Wow. Dink, dunk, dunk. <laughs> okay, let's see. What is blinking at me? Smelting. Okay, it's raining today, which is nice. And yay. Kill 10 slimes, that's what I wanted. And the rat problem from Erasmodius. Let's gather all of that up. That was a lot of EXP. Maybe I could do spinach. Maybe spinach can get us to level. I think I'm gonna sell one. And we'll bring the rest to Pierre's. And let's go, let's go visit the wizard. I don't, uh, I'll come back through my farm. So I'll drop these off in here. Our daily daffodil. Ooh, we're almost level three foraging. I'm not going to swipe any of this grass because we might get too much forage on the way. Watch has got like no forge. Be like, okay. Oh, hello. What are you? A pelican mint, a type of mint that grows all around Pelican Town. No matter how much the villagers try to get rid of it, so it's a weed. Oh, oh, there's a lot of people that like it though, for it to be growing around, and it's an 18 recipes. 
Holy, and it's like actually the pelican mint as well. That's so cool. Okay. Fun little path up to the wizard. I love that. And we have our expanded one where he teaches us to read Junimo-ish. So now we have this. Oh, what is this? Right, I don't need... Okay, so that's from a mod that I'm not using, so I can remove that. I think that's from unlockable bundles, which I don't need. Unlock. Yeah, I don't need that one, so I'm going to turn that one off. That's from that's from Visit Mount Vibius, which I was testing out, so I don't need that one. Okay, what we do want is this. We have the crafts room. We have our bundles here. And those of you who have sleuthed out my mod pack kind of know what's to be expected here. Oh, sorry, I was stretching. Okay, so we have spring foraging bundle. In the spring foraging bundle, we have our spring forage that we need. And we need 15 of everything, including three salmon berries. So we are using a mod called Challenging Community Centers Bundles. And that's for everything. So all of these, you can see we need a lot of things for. 15 coral, 15 clam, 30 maple seeds. Five fiddlehead ferns, which I think won't be too bad with green rain, honestly. 15 cave carrots, 10. 30 torches, which is fine. 30 mixed seeds, like 10 oak resin pine tar. Crazy amount of mushrooms and construction. We need 50 fences in there too, hey? Changed out from two stacks of 90 wood. That's insane. That's insane. But it will be fun. And the main reason I did this was to slow us down so that we don't actually unlock or finish the community center in year one. Because I don't want to finish the community center in year one. And as much as I would try to delay it, I would still not like feel pressured, but like be like, oh, I need to take care of this. I need to look for this. Where I'm still going to do that, but now no matter what I do, we're going to have to wait. So as you saw on there, we need spring onions. So we're going to have to start visiting down here a little bit. Because we need how many? 15? We need 10 spring onions. And right now there's currently zero. A big fat zero. Let's grab this peppercorn though. Why not? So yeah, we're going to make a daily trip down here as well now for the next little bit. Until we get those 10 spring onions. But that's why I haven't, like I stopped selling things. <laughs> Once I shipped a few. Because I knew that we were going to need a lot of money. Or a lot of a lot of things. Where we were going to have to hang on to them. Okay, so now I can actually fight my way through. And I might fight my way towards these rice shoots. If I can. Oh, they're all like barricaded in here. There we go. Nice. Unmilled rice. That's really cool. Oh, look at this cute little telescope. Why not clean up in here a little bit? Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Oh, I didn't know I could pick those up. That scared me. That scared me. Oh. Oh my gosh, my heart's in my throat right now. How many pink starfish are on this? I don't know. Okay. Yeah, if I didn't alter the tree growth on here, we would be living in an absolute. But the cool thing is, look, I can swipe it and it doesn't die. That's one of the, the, the mods is I don't accidentally kill saplings. Because the amount of times I did that on my last playthrough, like immediately after I planted something, <laughs> it's like so upsetting. Okay, so I'm going to ship one. I'm going to hang on to one because I don't know if we need it. <laughs> I can ship these though. Modded forage, I have no problem shipping. Did I already put one in here? I did. Okay. And I can't... Look, I don't, look, I don't even have enough daffodils to bring me 15. 15 leeks. I have two. It's crazy. It's fun gonna take us all month long just to unlock one bundle can I grab you without I can 
can grab these and I can just sell them to Pierre because we've already sold some. Yeah, the modded torridge I have no problem selling because I didn't. There's different types like you can choose if you want to put in like cornucopia or like Stardew Valley Expanded or Ridgeside for the challenging community centers. There's different options if you look at the mod page on Nexus. I just went with vanilla for a couple of reasons. One, because I knew that I would just get stressed out by adding in modded crops and everything. But two, this way now, it doesn't matter what playthrough I use it in. Cabbage seeds takes seven days to mature. Canola takes eight days. A shallot. I don't know what we're going to buy. I'm going to have to think about this a little bit. Maybe just some more spinach. Who knows? Sorry, I was scrolling a little bit while I was paused there. Oh, jeez, I didn't mean to exit the menu. <clears throat> um, I was scrolling a bit. I think we were around here or something. So I don't, I, I'm being like a big butt about this when I don't need to be a big, big butt about this. Like, obviously this is like the best deal and I'm still probably going to buy a decent amount of these. I got buy 25 again, but I want to have some variety. Let's buy like 10 of those. 10 basil, sure. Ooh, those grow really fast. What the heck? Um, and we're going to need a bunch of these, so. I'm going to buy 10 of everything, I think. Ah! <laughs> Apparently 15 cauliflower. Goodbye money. Um, kale, we'll buy 10 tulips as well, and 10 jazz. Sure. And then we can come back for more if we want to, but that's a lot of our money. Goodbye. Slow, slow, slow. I'm so used to having so much speed. Someone just released a bobber's bob. That's what I was distracted about. And they changed them to be cute bobbers. Oh, they're just like reskins of the bobbers. They look really nice. Just like they're kind of still like the same things, like same animals and such. They just are reskinned. I'm going to sneeze. I'm going to sneeze. I need to mute. I need to mute. So funny, just looking at this, how our current funds are 199, 199 gold and we've only made 7086. Wow, I just said, I didn't even know what I said, they're 199. <laughs> okay, well, let's plant these spinach because, again, these are going to be good, good farming EXP. And then we will plant, how do I want to do this? I want to have, like, a little bit of fun with these. Um, because we can. Um, sure, and then we'll do another tulip here. Why not? I know it's going to offset this. Jazz tulip, jazz tulip, jazz tulip. There we go. Can decorate here a little bit. It's going to be kind of funny to water, but that's okay. I'm not going to do it right behind. Some more tulips and jazz there. Grow three here. I'm literally going to probably harvest some as soon as I grow, but that's okay. All right, and... Do two rows of five here. Because I don't have sprinklers yet, so I'm not restricted to squares. For the buckwheat. And I don't have an axe, so... Oh my gosh, I need... Alright, I can expand down here, that's fine. Let's do... Two rows of five for the green beans. Hello, there we go. Trellis crops are always so they're they're finicky to plant. Because you can't be standing right there for them. You can do two rows of five over here. Or excuse me, my goodness, the basil. And Two 
two rows of five of parsnips. Nice, I can't fit them in. Okay. The potatoes here. And then let's do... Where do I want to do 15? I think I'm going to get my axe because that's going to bother me. I need a magnet ring. <laughs> And I can do three rows right here. Ah, crap. Guess I just need to be a bit careful. There we go. And now I just need ten for my kale. Ten for the kale. Which maybe I'll put over here. I can just kind of clean up this area. Oh my gosh, my tummy's talking to everyone. Yeah, this is going to keep me busy watering this every day, but that's okay. I need to get the farming EXP somehow. Okay, so now what I'm thinking about is intentionally planting, intentionally planting some trees. Because we can. Um, let's put these away. Actually, I'm going to keep my... Pickaxe on me. I'm gonna keep this on me. Where's my mouse? Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. <clears throat> okay, let's bring these with us. Because we're just gonna get wooden sap as well. And where do I wanna do this? Oh, I have no energy. Okay. Before I do this, let's actually <laughs> take care of ourselves a little bit. Right, getting started. I'm gonna save that. Um, I actually need to make uh, some scarecrows. Forgot about that. Scarecrows are kind of important. So I need fiber, I need coal, and wood, I think is what they are. Okay, and I can actually finally see the radius of them again. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm going to put one up here. I need to make another one. That's okay. I need to make two more, actually. They will not go to waste. So I can put you here. And, okay, and I can put you, oh my gosh, I'm going to need so many. I can put you basically here, right in my front door. So funny. I'll put you over here, so then I can expand my crops a little bit this way if I want. And then we'll make one more for near the house, for all of our flowers that we have, and then we won't lose any money. If I put you here. Oh, I might need to make two more. That's so funny. It's not funny. It sucks. Yeah, there's like these weird gaps. I could put it right there. I'm going to sacrifice this one jazz for a scarecrow. There we go. Okay. And it's already 9.40 p.m. So I might just eat some of these instead. Because that's why I'm going to be planting these trees, is to make more of these. Um, even though I know we can get some more energy from forage, but these are a good zero-cost alternative, I would say. And I know there's trees around here, but I want them to be in a little bit more of an organized pattern so that they're easier to manage. Yeah, this is looking good up here. Can I make any torches with... I need two sap. Okay, so we can cut down some trees. And we got some sap. Okay, 
Because it's darn dark. So I know you can't see anything, but that's because these have like a little glow to them like that. Very soothing glow. And they're just very charming little lights. Okay, so what I'm thinking is I'll do 10 here. Oh, what is there? Why can I not plant? Is there a stump? There's something there. Now I lost count. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Okay, so I'm going to have to pull up this tree, which is okay. And yes, I could just use let's move it to move these trees, but that's too cheaty for me. Okay. Let's do ten maple trees next, and I'm going to stagger them. Ten. Okay. And then 10 oak trees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. And I ran out of field snacks already, really? Is there a maple tree I can shake anywhere? There we go. <laughs> Improvise. And we're going to eat this so we can cut down this tree so we can plant one here. and put you there there we go okay and then one other thing I'm going to do is I want to move buildings because I just remembered this oh yeah it's going to always be zoned in on where I think our house is I think that's just a modded farm thing that will happen I'm going to move this down here because I'm going to want our little pal to be near us when they join us eventually um, and you can go like wherever honestly I'm going to put you right there. No. Yeah, that's okay. That's fine. Okay. And let's run back to our place. Oh my gosh, so far away. And then that way we can get a guaranteed 10 field... I mean, not guaranteed, but the chance of getting 10 field snacks a day from there will be higher than, you know, normal. Okay. And I'm going to put everything away and we're going to get our watering can out because we're going to need that tomorrow because it's not raining tomorrow. Level 3 foraging. Excellent. We got the cookout kit. <clears throat> Which I don't think we're going to be using too much, but... Okay. Next. Bonk. Yeah, that takes so much longer to load than vanilla. <laughs> Just more things need to load. I should check my smappy to see if there's any conflicts, because I feel like there might be some... What did I just pick up? I don't know if that was on the table or not. I feel like there is some conflicts. I don't know. Yeah, I'm getting, like, NPC Pierre. Failed to... Failed loading schedule file. Um, an item with the same key has already been added. Key is rain. So something's conflicting with Pierre on a rainy day. And I don't know what. I don't know what. Still can't get in there. That's okay. Um, hello. Dear Farmer Nicoa, I might need help with more space someday. Right, this is Robin saying that she can build us a new house. All right, hello, Leek. Thanks, sure. Let's water all of our flowers around our house this is not really supposed to be like a decorative thing I don't know I just wanted to grow flowers and this is how I decided to grow them so because I don't know if we're gonna need them or not and then we might go around and forage 
We have to go check um, for spring onions, that's for sure. Does a scarecrow cover these ones? I don't know if the scarecrow covers those. Those might get eaten because I kind of forgot those ones existed. I'm not going to lie. I wish there was a mod that let you choose a recolor based on the season. Does that exist? Does anyone know if that exists? Oh, it's Queen of Sauce too. I should go do Queen of Sauce. Let's go grab Queen of Sauce real quick. Stir fry. Oops, I just water the same spot three times. Passable crops lets us go into these beans. Which makes sense if you're like, careful where you're treading. You should be able to walk into there, hey? Oh, there's water down here. This isn't too far away. Q. There we go, everything's watered up. Okay, so now we're gonna go south. Check out Cinder Sap. I'm gonna bring you and you, just in case. Let's go and see if we got some spring onions. Let's go see if we have some spring onions. <sighs> Grabbing a drink of tea while I'm doing this. Hmm. I'm drinking some orange pico again. Ooh, we got some then. Clay. Alright. <clears throat> Rogue fiber. We don't have any more rice. I don't know if the rice respawns. I think it does. I think the rice respawns. On my, my tester file of this this farm map, um, there was more rice than what I har I like I harvested some, and then there was like new rice to harvest later on, so. Ooh, hello, you're new. Uh, St. Cannoli Almond. A forager's dream come true. The rarest of almonds had to be grown by old master cannoli. <laughs> Himself. Cool. Whoa, it's used in like a lot of things. How much does it sell for? 36. That's actually pretty good. Is there spring onions? No spring onions. I feel like this is a very small spot for spring onions in Expanded. Okay, well then we'll just do a bit of a more of a loop. See if anything pokes out like some dandelion. Sorry, I was just pulling on my OBS again. I'm not gonna go into West Cinder Sap because we don't, like we have to go in there with like almost an empty inventory. Mm-hmm. You know what I like about expanded is there's not all like the rocks and twigs that spawn here. Oh wizard! Have we I don't think we've actually talked to Wizard. We just kinda went in. Is he still yeah, he's still unknown, so let's go and talk to him. Let's go and talk to him. Looking at your ancient fruit. Wanna wanna lend one? I sometimes observe the local villagers in secret. Okay, you do you. Please don't observe me. I don't know. Hello, what do you have for us? Perch, starfruit, okay, chanterelle, morel, rare seed, red fez. It's not showing up because we have a hat mod, that's why it's not showing it, so that just means that there's no texture for it. Sparkling wine, what is sparkling wine? Morning glory, cassava, vanilla, and another morning glory starry for starter for a hundred less. That's funny. Okay, well, that wasn't as extravagant of a foraging session as I thought it would be, but that's okay. 
This is getting crazy. Let's clean up this. It's kind of expanding and I don't want this to expand out. There's also a dandelion in the mix for us, so that's kind of worth. Maybe we will go down to West Cinder Sap. And maybe we'll just finish with foraging. The book. Does the book say anything? No. Okay, there we go. Slowly but surely, we will clean up this farm. Let's take a walk over here and see if there's... Oh, there's a cockle. A lot of garbage as well. The Jojicola. Oh, we can get coral on our beach too. That's really awesome because we need that for... Um, we need that for a bundle. Yeah, I think I'm going to spend the rest of the day on the on the farm. I don't think I'm going to go to the mines. Making some mines progress would be nice, but... Okay, let's go and put the rest of the stuff away first, though, because we might need to heal up. How do I do this? Greenhouse. The tree is not growing. I thought they would grow faster than that. Oh, well. Walk me slower through tilled dirt. And I think we can sell this petite lime because it's a it's a modded crop. Yeah. Okay, so let's grab these. I'm gonna put this away though. I'm getting to the point where I need to make uh, another chest. I'll make two more actually. And I'm gonna pull all of this out. Hmm. I'll make you white because you'll be like tools and such. And then I'll make you green for like forage and crops. Pull out all of our... Oops. Make you... I don't know, burgundy for like resourcey stuff. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that, that kind of frees up a bit more space in there. That's nice. Let's go and heal up our energy a little bit before we start ripping up the forest. See, I can't swipe that little seedling. That's so nice. That's the spouse patio. It doesn't look super nice way up there. <laughs> Only a geode node. That's cool. Let me heal. This makes absolutely no sense if you think about it. The cave goes into the from the right into the left, and when we enter, we go from the left to the right. <sighs> Grab me a drink of tea. Yummy, yummy tea. Yeah, I don't know what mod I'm using, which is like messing with Pierre's schedule. Maybe cornucopia. I'm not too sure. I mean, he was just in the store. Maybe that's the thing. Well, yeah, it could make sense if you just like think that you loop around this way for the car farm cave. The the farm cave. I don't even know what I was going to say there. Grab these coconuts. I'm pretty sure we need these. Don't we need these? Oh, no, we don't. At least not yet. Can we eat them? No. <laughs> and I think if we just spam on these... Okay, or we can... Whoa, two coffees. That's awesome. Sure, we'll drink one. Get some speed going. Is 
The Joja. I'm gonna put the coconuts in here too. Oh yeah, and the coral, right? Let's finish picking away at our beach. A lot of grass is kind of coming in. I think I have a shorter grass option on for a vibrant pastoral, which is why it's not as like overwhelming. Because you could have like a longer option, but I'm like, you kind of just lose sight of everything when it's a longer option. Wonder how the green rain is going to affect my farm. It's probably just going to be chaos. It's a huge farm. My game's probably going to lag so bad. <laughs> Okay, there we go. I think that's most of the beach cleaned off now. So now let's tidy up some of these extra little bits and bobs that are on the beach. Whoops. I love the wizard tower sticking out right over there. That's nice. Wonder if these palm trees regrow or if it's like once I cut them down, they're gone forever. Okay, for science, I'm going to try and move these ones out of the way and we're going to see next episode if like little baby palm trees grow in here, like in this area. Am I going to remember that I did them there? No, but we'll see. <clears throat> we'll see if there's little baby palms. This feels so nice cleaning up all this like little debris takes up space. It also looks so much nicer on here without all of the that debris. This is a lot of space. I'm just kind of picking and choosing wherever I wherever I feel like going, that's where I go. See a darn thing. Gosh, I'm like squinting. Okay, I should probably get out of here. That's so funny. Axe marks the spot, and it was a, a warp home totem. That's a lot of debris. Obviously, I'm, I'm missing a lot, but... Feeling pretty okay about that now. Pretty clean beach. The beach is, like, not even all of our farm. Like, it's, like, a small portion of our farm. That scarecrow scared me. Can I make... Oh, no, I don't have any sap. I might make, like, a couple torches just to put by our farmhouse. Where's resources in the middle? Foragey stuff. Tool things. Okay, so let's grab some wood and sap and let's just make a few torches. We'll spend a bit more of the day just putting out some torches so we can see. I'm just going to put them down this path.
There, now it's like a little bit lit up so we can see where we're walking. And they're just little twinkly ones. They look so much nicer than the vanilla torches. And we'll actually be able to find our house. Yay. That's an episode, my friends. That's an episode. Fifty-nine gold in the pocket. <laughs> That's the pace of this epi or this playthrough so far. It will pick up. Don't worry. We're not going to be making fifty-nine gold every day until the end of this series. No, 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 no. It'll ramp up. That's for sure. Day eight of spring, year one. Okay. Well, I'm not going to leave my house because, especially early game, a lot of the times you leave your place like more. There's like NPCs that want to talk to you and everything. So I want to thank you for popping by for this first episode. Very different pace from what I'm used to. It's slower. Well, it's just it's just slower. It's a lot slower than what I'm used to. Um, but I'm going to have a lot of fun. I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. Because we have our work cut out for us. Again, mainly just with this. Mainly just with this. 30 torches. We can make those. Yeah. But anyways, it's going to be a while until we unlock our farm cave too. But... Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you popping in, supporting the um, channel, really. And I'm excited to hear how you're, you're going to take this 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 series. It's going to be fun. We're going to do a lot of decoration. It's going to be well drawn out. The last series that I played, it took us three years to perfection. I don't even know if we're going to unlock the full community center in three years, just for some context. So we'll see how we do. We'll see how we do. But until then, I will catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye for now.